This is what the van life looks like on a Sunday morning. It's just me and my oatmeal. <laughs> just hanging out in my boxers, wearing yesterday's t-shirt, sitting on the front steps of Dan the Adventure Bus, just soaking in the view. Look at how beautiful this earth is. Oh, and by the way, if you guys haven't been to Utah before, these little flies, <laughs> they mean business. The flies around here in this area, around the Colorado River, are relentless. Here's what semi-organized and road-ready looks like. Got a bunch of crap on the bed. Dump trunk is secured. Things are in the sink. The bus is not flying around. Nothing on here. This thing needs to find a home. Uh, that's fine there. You got the cable up in the front. Shoes are on the front porch. I got my uh, road face on. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to sound cooler than, than it came out. Also, a huge thank you to one of my idols, longtime idols, Andrew Zimmern from Bizarre Foods for the incredible life slash career advice. That was awesome. And I now have so much clarity right now. So uh, on that note, I'm gonna head towards St. George, which is uh, right across uh, the border, right into Utah. Regroup, we'll pick it up there. We got a tight squeeze here. You guys ever done a uh, drive through ATM with a uh, school bus? <laughs> Me neither. All right, did find myself some uh, Wi-Fi at a local coffee place and next door a place to potentially trim down the mullet a little bit. Not the actual mullet part, but the sides. So I'm gonna go on a editing spree right now. All right, I saved you guys the boring part of me actually doing the laundry, but the laundry is done. There it is, right there. That is everything I dirty. Not a lot of clothes, but that's almost half my stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, remember this old thing? Well, I still have it. I washed this as well because this was next to the, you know, what happened the other day with the poop water. So anyways, uh, also my sleeping bag, zipper broke, so we're going to take that back to Walmart. That'll be my third sleeping bag uh, that I've gone through. And what else? Yeah. So basically I have a few errands to run. And who knows, maybe we'll do a little Q&A to make this video a bit more exciting. Today turned into errand day. I also got more of these uh, no salt added soups. The canned soups, even the or organic ones are so salty. And if I'm going to live on this, I can't be putting that much sodium in my body <laughs> just because I'm too lazy to cook. So these ones have a whopping 2% of your daily sodium in the organic. Uh, where am I? Okay, so remember the Walmart I was in? Well, here's the auto center area. And I was reading online that some very smart person parked overnight here by the auto center so that they could access Walmart's free Wi-Fi. Uh, it's also out of, you know, out of sight. Um, so that's good. Um, also today I stopped by and I got another drone battery. This is battery number two. So I think two batteries is good. My last battery that I gave Nomadic Fanatic had, I think, three batteries. Um, but I, I think, I think two is okay. You know, one just it wasn't enough. I had to charge in between flights over at the special hot spring, which I haven't posted yet. Which, actually, the reason why I parked here is so I can edit. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now, and then we'll play a little we'll play a little game later. A little uh, Ask Jax uh, q and I'm sure there's a ton of questions that you guys have, uh, and I'd like to address some of those in a video so you guys who might not read the comments or follow me on other social media platforms or things like that can get answers to some burning questions. 
Alright, so as you saw, today was a day of many errands and I wanted to do something a little bit different which I've been meaning to do for quite some time because there are <laughs> and have been a lot of questions about how I'm doing exactly what I'm doing here. So uh, I tweeted out uh, an Ask Jax and as well I put it on an Instagram story. First question comes from Drake Knight. Does it ever get claustrophobic and do you feel more connected to people because of your travels? Um, I haven't yet experienced a claustrophobic feeling. Um, last night for the first time it was really hot in the bus when I was trying to sleep in there and anytime I get hot I feel a little antsy maybe claustrophobic but otherwise no it's pretty spacious uh in here um and i definitely feel more connected to people because of my travels as you guys have seen i've bumped into many awesome people along the way um a lot of people who just come up to me um you know because they're so curious what's going on i, I just a little bit earlier i had a nice little family come by and take a picture of of you know, Danny Adventure Bus and stuff like that. Um, I'm at the parking lot of a Walmart <laughs> right now. M. Wills asks, what sort of restrictions do you face, especially if you are in an isolated area? How do you overcome storage issues? Um, okay, so the restrictions in an isolated area, number one is connectivity with the internet. Um, I do rely on the internet a lot and social media for cool locations, um, for mapping, directions, communications with people, uh, trying to interact as much as possible. Even though I would give myself an F for interactions on Twitter lately, I'm sorry, but making videos all day long <laughs> takes up all my time. And plus I'm driving, so I, it's like, it's just hard, so I apologize. Um, and the storage issues, I have a lot of like open dead space. It's not completely optimized. And that's my fault because I didn't really realize how much stuff I would actually take with me. I thought I would take, you know, I still have not a lot of stuff, but like, you know, like a toilet and everything. It, it just, yeah, it, it, I'm trying to get little containers to fix some things. And I might actually redo this bed and make it more storage friendly. Uh, next question comes from Brandon Moore. What is your favorite thing you learned since you first bought Dan? And what has surprised you the most during your travels? Um, the favorite thing I've learned is how to be more hands-on with building and fixing things. Uh, even the work I did on the bus, like painting it, putting it, uh, these in there, I've I gained a level of confidence I've never had before with like my hands in building things. I always, you know, I took auto shop and wood shop and uh, stuff like that in, in, you know, high school, but you know, working on stuff with Chris was fun. Musso kind of took the reins and did a lot of his stuff on his own. And uh, so that was cool. Uh, but you know, also breaking down places and then having to throw an alternator in the bus in the parking lot of the auto parts store like that's just like I'll always know how to put in an alternator now by the way it's really easy and the thing that surprised me the most <laughs> um, was the cost of diesel and how bad gas mileage it is in the bus um, I was not anticipating that I thought I was gonna get like closer to 20 miles per gallon because it's a diesel however having learned that RVs get like eight because they're gasoline. I, I feel pretty good about it, but it's still so expensive. Elizabeth Curran, what has been some of the more interesting food and sites that you have encountered? What have you learned about Dan? Uh, the most interesting food so far was the Indian fry bread uh, in Tucson. That was awesome. And that was something I didn't even know existed. Uh, those Indian tacos and all that stuff was awesome. Dan's pretty reliable, just like Uncle Dan. Um, and, you know, it, it's this whole experience of living in a vehicle. Um, obviously, I travel a lot and I don't stay in one place. 
Uh, so I don't get people who look at me like I'm homeless. I get people who look at me like, oh, wow, he's adventurous. Um, and so I've learned that not just myself, but other people could benefit by living in a vehicle. A lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people have a hard time, you know, get acquiring savings uh, because life is so expensive. We are a monthly payment society uh, and also a, a indebted society. We buy things on loan. And I would say that this is a really smart way to cut your costs if if um, someone's brave enough to, to live in a vehicle by choice, even though they could pay for an apartment, I feel like a lot of people could get ahead and get out of that cycle. Amber says, do you find that you talk to yourself when not filming? Well, it's funny. I think I've always talked to myself, but I like have like a more <laughs> like loud dialogue with myself. It's, it's almost like it's almost like I'm talking to you guys, like I'm talking right now. It's like, I don't even see my camera. I just imagine all of you watching this right now. Um, but it's almost like I, it, it's, it, it's almost like there's a show going like 24 seven or something, or like I'm vlogging 24 seven. It's really, it's crazy. It's like, just cause the camera's not even on, I'll still talk as though it's on. Rafe says, how stinky does it get? Well, honestly, not very stinky. Uh, the stinkiest part right now is all the poo and the toilet, but there's so much disinfectant in there that you really can't even smell it. So, and normally the trunk is closed, the dump trunk, so not at all. Young David asks me, when am I going to Alaska and Tucson? I'm hoping to get to Alaska at the end of May. Uh, I wanted to go sooner because if I could start with Alaska and then head over in the north by the time I hit like New York or something like that would be maybe like September, October when it kind of starts to cool down a little bit. Um, and if I went back down the other way, I just don't think I could have made it back to Alaska before it starts to snow because it snows all the time there. All right, the schoolie formerly known as Felicia asks, what has been the biggest surprise for you out on the road, such as places to park people living in a bus full time? Biggest surprise. I would say honestly how easy it is like some people like online have, have talked about like where's the right place to park you know like how do how do you find a place like it, it kind of blows my mind that people actually pay for parking like if you don't have an RV and you don't have to have hookups with like power and, and whatever else you hook up I don't know cuz I don't have an RV but like yeah you don't need to pay I'm in the parking lot of a Walmart right now next to the auto part real close enough to get Wi-Fi for free <laughs> um, So that is pretty easy You can like there's no if you're going to a big city or Through a big city or something. There's no reason you need to stay in the big city Just stay 40 miles out at the rest stop. You're gonna have to drive that far anyways to get there So you might as well stop sleep there and then continue on and you kind of wake up as you go drive an hour in the morning kind of wake you up and then you're at your destination like it's really easy people uh have been surprisingly curious but i also have to credit uh the virgin Rob mobile wrap on the bus because it's just so big and so loud that you can't help but notice dan the adventure bus you might happen to think I'm selling food in here, but that's okay, <laughs> it did catch your eye. The biggest surprise about living in a bus is like, why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I live in a van sooner? I was making really good money in Los Angeles as a bartender and I was blowing money left and right because I was making money left and right. So at the end of the month, there wasn't a whole lot of savings, you know what I mean? Had I done it this way, I could have, Saved a lot of money. Uh, Kevin Futamachi says, uh, approximately how much did you budget for your adventure? Would love to consider my own trip, but I just need some pointers. Um, well, Kevin, I figured out, or I figured that if I had a daily budget of about 50 bucks, I could pay for gas and I could pay for food. And that would come out to about $1,500 a month. 
uh, I used to pay $1,200 a month for rent. So, I, that's why I thought, wow, I'm already paying so much money a month just to have an apartment. If I paid a little bit more than the apartment, which was considerably less than what my monthly expenses were, I could effectively create daily videos for about 50 bucks a day. And if anybody has a film background, you know how insanely cheap that is to travel, to make videos, and to live like room and board. So, uh, just depends what you want to do with your project. Brittany Lewinsky asks, do you get lonely? Is it just you traveling? Do I get lonely? Honestly, not really, because I'm always bumping into people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I bumped into people at the Valley of Fire. I bump into people at the Walmart. I bump into people at the... Anywhere I'm parked. You know, people come up all the time and, and stuff. So I have to thank the friendly humans for, you know, creating conversation. I was going to go and park tonight over close to the RVs and stuff. But I wanted Wi-Fi and I wanted a little, like like quiet time because so many people come up you know uh, which is awesome but um I just wanted to sleep well tonight Will Rivera when are you coming to the East Coast well will my original plan was to get to the East Coast like Florida by I think like November or December but since I had some things uh, with the bus as you can see the lighting behind me and also I did some engine work and some other stuff, I forgot what. But basically, I got a little delayed. So then I thought to myself, well, Alaska is my number one destination and also the hardest place to get to because of the weather. So I thought, well, if I go in spring and then I can hit the northern states and then pop over there, long story short, I'm aiming for maybe October uh, on the East Coast and then I'll make my way down and then back around the Midwest, kind of. Amber Brigoni asks, will you be passing through Salt Lake City soon? Amber, I am in St. George, Utah right now. I'm gonna be going to Zion, uh, some other places, Monument Valley, some other places, Salt Lake City, and then Ogden for a meeting. Um, so maybe I'll have an, a Salt Lake meetup. <laughs> so you're invited, by the way. There were more questions prior to this. Um, I just don't have a way to save all of them besides just answering everything I can either on YouTube or on Instagram. So if anybody has additional questions, write them in the comment section of this video and maybe I will do another one the next week. And so maybe with YouTube I can have you guys commenting on the video which I can address like the next time I do it, um, and then I can refer back to this one for uh, questions. But I will, of course, try to write back to you as well, uh, just in case you didn't get the memo. <laughs> um, all right, so that concludes it for Ask Jax. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to Zion, but as you guys probably have learned, I don't really know my schedule. So strange.